welcome to the video on cylindrical coordinate system in any coordinate system we will have some coordinates and what are coordinates These coordinates are used just to uniquely define a particular point in that particular coordinate system in the rectangular coordinate system we have seen three coordinates as x y and z which will have the planar symmetry that is with respect to a plane or x y y z or z x plane the complete space is symmetric now in the cylindrical coordinate system we have different coordinates called rho phi and z first we will see the limits of rho phi and z and we will go deep into it actually rho will change from 0 to infinity and phi changes from 0 to 2 pi what is phi is phi is the orientation angle with respect to the reference line and we will see it clearly soon and z is height of the point that is this z is same as the z in our rectangular coordinate system Let's go deep into the concept of cylindrical coordinate system. This is what a cylinder is. A cylinder is just is it actually aligned over its axis. This axis is our reference line. Just compare it with our rectangular coordinate system, which we are very much familiar with. This is x-axis, this is y-axis, and this is z-axis. And z-axis of both cylindrical and rectangular coordinate system are same. And this z-axis is called a reference line. That is, that is the line, reference line. What is actually reference is with respect to what we are defining the others that is with respect to this reference line we are constructing a circle around this reference line that is the symmetry of the cylindrical coordinate system is axial symmetry axial symmetry is symmetry around the axis axis is our z plane in order to deeply understand the row and phi z concepts we will just cut the cylinder at some point and we will explore this come on consider this cylinder and I am just removing this particular part so it will be more clear for you say this and for explanation we will just consider a point on this cylinder that is consider this point right consider this point and in order to define this point uniquely we need three coordinates as we have discussed earlier rho phi and z for a particular rho that is rho is the distance from here to here that is the radius of the cylinder this is called rho and if you take a particular rho we will get a cylinder that is if i specify a rho i am able to find that this point will be somewhere in this cylinder and i don't know where but from infinite space to i will come to a notion that it will be in a it will be on a cylinder and next coordinate is phi and z first we will look at z and then we will go for phi z is nothing but the z axis in cylindrical coordinate system is same as the z axis in rectangular coordinate system z axis is nothing but distance from origin to height that is i am taking this point so z axis is nothing but this height so i have defined one row and one z and i will get circle now that is from from the possibility of location in a on a cylinder i have come to the possibility of location on a circle that is possibility has become less now we define a parameter called phi phi is nothing but there is an angle made with the reference line right now suppose consider this point right this point is along this x axis that is here for this point the phi is 0 that is phi is angle made in this direction like this this is the phi i will just draw a line from here if i draw a line from suppose here to here this is called phi this angle is called phi okay i have drawn this line if i take this point this angle is called phi and for this point phi is 0 and i as I move along the circle, phi varies from 0 to 2 pi. That's how we define the phi. See clearly, this is rho, right? By specifying rho, we come to the conclusion that the point will be somewhere around a, somewhere on a cylinder. And by specifying z, that is the height from down, we come to the conclusion that this point will be somewhere around this circle. That is every point on this circle will have same row and same z and by specifying this row that is angle made 
with this x axis we will be able to see the point uniquely thank you